Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Vervain's Arcadia. It's been a hot minute since we had an episode over here, but that does not mean that I have not been busy. This episode has been recorded over the course of the last month or so, and, well, we've made a lot of good progress on the Megabase. Anyways, I'm so excited to show you what we're doing today, so without any further ado, let's get to it. Why, hello there, friends. I have just gotten back from... A pretty long AFK session here at my iron farm. Let's go see how much we got. We have almost a full chest here and an extra row here. So a full double chest of shulker boxes plus like five more, I think. And all of a sudden that entire chest full of iron looks like this. Six shulkers. Now, what do I need all this iron for? You may be asking. Well... You see, Derek has opened a pretty darn cool brand new shop in the old Bragatui building. And got tired of stocking iron real quick. And since I have a crazy iron farm, he asked me if I wanted to stock it. So, okay, no one has bought any. There, I've already pulled 10 diamond blocks out of there. What about here? All right. So the pricing is two diamond blocks a box for boxes of iron and then for boxes of it, it, the, the blocks is for the blocks and the plain old diamond is for the iron ingots. But iron is not really the material we need to be working with today. Oh no, we've got plans. I have been spending my night mining ice and mining and mining and more mining. And now I have two shulker boxes of packed ice. And let's see, what is this? Six, eight shulker boxes of normal ice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of really sad that the uh, 72,000 ice per hour ice farm didn't work out all that well. And I am kind of considering building one of the 16,000 an hour ice farms, but I'm scared of that. So I guess this episode will kind of determine if we need that. Anyways, we're gonna leave ourselves a little project box here. And the other thing that I am going to be using today is glass. Lots and lots and lots of glass. And I have a lot of plain glass and not a ton of well-dyed glass. Have you figured out where this is going yet? We have a gorgeous ice castle with a front that is mostly made of clear ice and well right now the inside of that ice is just these plain bits of the mountain which is great it's fine and all like we are building the castle into the mountain like that's that's kind of the vibes but i think we can do better so the first thing that we want to do in this space is make this stair or like pathway traversable. So then, eventually, we have something like this. Let's go ahead and fill in the bits of slabs now. Okay. And then from here, we're going to start filling this area up with glass. Yeah, we're going to go through a lot of glass today. So, uh, hang on to your hats, people. And basically, what I'm going for is kind of a watercolor streak kind of effect. Now, we can't quite fully see the color yet from the outside, but that is because of light. And we'll add just a little bit there. I will have you all know that I am doing this for the first time here right now. So, uh, if it doesn't all go perfectly and swimmingly, no biggie. Okay, yeah. It's really subtle. It's a little more subtle than I was expecting slash hoping. But it is really cool. Ah, oh, this feels so fun and happy to walk through. Now we've got a little ceiling with a little bit of soul lanternage so that we can see our own way as we're going through. Um, and now we continue adding glass. This might be a little while. Do you ever wish that there was a way to skip day in Minecraft? Because I sure do right now. 
I went ahead and did a lot more of the purples and greens and really didn't bother with more of the oranges and pinks. Um, the pink we might bring in a little bit here and there, but I think these are my favorite colors for like how things look. Um, mostly probably because it's very northern lightsy colored. I like it. Well, it is subtle, but I do think I really, really like the effect because it does look like just a little bit of northern lights variation going on in the walls of this castle, which, like, that's the vibe. The whole vibe here is Alaskan fairy tale, right? So, I guess we better get going on the other side. Now, you can't really tell, especially with sodium. This actually looks a lot better in vanilla. Um, got me really motivated working on it because I had to just be in vanilla for a bit. Um, but we have our render distance back, so that makes me happy. But it looks really, really nice, especially at night. You can kind of see already, there's just a little... It looks very Northern Lightsy, which is exactly the effect I was going for. I'm really, really happy with how a lot of this has turned out. And I really hope Sodium fixes their whole, like, transparent block issues because that would make this so much nicer. Yeah. So even with Sodium and the problem that is Sodium, you can, you can kind of see the colors, definitely the shapes, and the lighting inside the walls, and I love it. It's so cool! The interior definitely looks like a Wonka factory threw up or something like that, you know? Now, on to the next. It's gonna take a little bit of terraforming, but hopefully not too much because it's gonna extend closer to that hill, so I'll have to carve out a bit of a walkway probably, but this will be kind of the backside of the doorway and it should be exactly on the same axis as the one out front and should be exactly the same shape as well. Uh, we're gonna have to actually cover up the OG crack in the mountain, which is a little sad. Yeah, so we kind of just end up having a flattened out spot between these two hills rather than this slightly more dramatic valley. So I'm gonna lay out this super flat area, I think, first, and then, you know, we'll do some more shaping, building up the fronts and backs of it as we kind of build the castle up as well. While I'm working on this, we have, in the time since I saw you all last, updated to 1.21, and so I got on the server and ran a few trial chambers with some friends, which was super, super fun, and we had a great time, and I got terrible loot. But while I do this terraforming, why don't you have a little look at how some of that went? This looks like a spawner room. I found the first. Hey. Um, I just ominous. got a breeze. And there's okay, other spawners in here too. I found a cake. Oh yeah, the cute little Someone's chest that has like here. a cake and a diamond. No, Someone's a lot of the chests are empty. A lot of the yeah, chests, the chests spawn come empty. Oh, okay, here's skeletons. No, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm Good saying news. one of the chests had like a used stone axe and pickaxe. Yeah, that, that. that. No, happens. yeah, they have they have a lot of like small bits of of junk in them. There's a lot of junk in the chests and the barrels. I found, oh, there's um, those spiders. Poison spiders. Oh, <laughs> chicken! Yay! Tasty. Do you want us to come back? Tried... And... Do you want us yeah, to come I've... back and help with the spiders? Oh, nice! Any of you want to come back? Oh wait. All I got was a key. A single key, or did you get yes. all three? Oh, interesting. It'll probably trigger for me in Soul then. Interesting. Yeah, so no, let's no, back it's here. not. It's not triggering for me. Oh, well, I guess to be maybe triggering. we huh. only got one then. That's odd. Bad luck. Ah. <laughs> All right. Do we, uh, the breeze is spawned and running around. Um, there's a couple breeze. other spawners the in this room. It's the there's new mob. There's also dispensers. It's... Yeah, so the breeze can hit the dispensers and trigger them. 
Some of Not the... if I take everything out first. True. The Breeze is my favorite, guys. He's the cutest. He's right here. Oh! There's so skeletons over here. Ooh. Literally ah! best boy. I oh, love I, I love already. the breeze so much. You guys, he's literally my favorite. That's your bestie. That's yes. <laughs> Do you want to open a vault? Sure. Here, I don't know what that means, but sure. Take a key. Take we'll a, we'll show you. Take yeah, take key. that key and right click this with it. Hey. <laughs> and there's another one on the other side. So take another key. I'm gonna open this one. Arrows and wind yeah, charges. Go yeah, for go for it. You'll only get to open each one once. You got the disc! Nice! It's a good disc. I love that one. So you got this too, Soul. We should put on the disc while we fight these guys. <laughs> a few cooks in the kitchen. It's fine. Shall we head up the scaffolding? Yes, let's go. Yay! Whoa. We might end up triggering both just by nature of the way that things are. Yeah. All right, who want who do we want to drink the um bottle? I can bottle? drink it. Okay. I'm already holding one. And this might be an experiment too because I I don't necessarily quote me that it works for all of us. But we'll find out. Like, yeah, we'll find out. Wait, do we actually I think do it we want to just google it? Um like I'm fine with doing a little experimenting. Okay. Like, either way, it's going to activate the spawner again. So, like, we're going to all end up there and fighting it. So, Stay shall we go to the spider to ones first? Yes. Okay. So, let's avoid line of sight with the skeleton one. Ah. All right. Things are going to be crazy now. Ah. You know, if I could land the freaking shot. I think swing, I accidentally helped. Um, there are breezes. W what? No, no, I no, no, no. No, wait. It's just the it's just the ominous. Yeah, it's just the ominous trial. It's like I'm pretty sure there weren't breezes around at all. Sorry, D. You're okay. Hey. What? What is okay. it giving you? Um, yeah, what did you get? I'm I got three of them. <gasps> okay, yes! so I just control three. I really love the wind charged potion effect, though. It's really, it's really fun for a chaotic fighting experience. I love the noise. Yes, all of the sound design in the trial chambers is so good. I got a heavy core. <gasps> like and now three. or in? Yeah, I just got ah! it. Nice! Look. The mace is so much fun. I love it. So do you want to do this one? It gives you better stuff. Yeah. Uh, sure. Revolting How diamond on it. this bottle, and it's that was it's it. It's that one really? where D is. That one up I got there. two yeah. diamonds and Use an your ominous fancy bottle. Blue keys on it. Let's see. I have six keys. Oh, oh that no, was wait. armor trim keys. and an ominous Here, bottle. Soul. Wind Take charges and a book. What book? Wind burst one. Take this okay. Key as well. Nice. I'll take wind burst one. Sorry. Because <laughs> I'm gonna activate ah! this one. I fell down. I guess I bottom. have to deal with the breezes. Oh no. <laughs> I'm that bad. I'm genuinely that bad at parkour though. So do All we right. want to go into this room uh, first? Up Sam, here? behind you. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Hey, hey! I'm excited to get one of these guys' heads, though. They're so cute. Aren't they? Oh, sorry. Love the breeze so much. They are literally the best. <laughs> Chaos gremlins. I got a head. I love these little cottage core oh. guys. Oh, I got one, too. We already have one oh, vault. Oh. One spawner drops stuff. It does not have keys. So, you know. That was that <laughs> sucked. I got nothing of value. Oh no. Oh, let me let me put some stuff Here. away in my shulker. Oh, I got a bogged head. Arrows, a book. Twin charges, that sucked. Oh, density four. I will take that book. That's a good book. Let's see what I get. I got another disc. 
It's a different disc, though. <gasps> Wait, you got the disc? Creator. Oh my goodness, this is the I'm best creator. disc. Like, I love Precipice, but this one is so yeah. good. I'm incensed right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? The chaos is the, the mess. Amount of, the amount of subtitles <laughs> of my screen right now. Oh, I can imagine. Trap door closes, trap door opens, fog rattles, fog hurts. <laughs> Weak attack, ah! skeleton dies. Tile spawner spawns a mob. Meat and potatoes. Triangle, okay, this like one has keys. keys. I got three keys. Yay, what does this one oh, have? Nothing. One. That one had only potatoes ah, and carrots. Word. I'm over here. Hey, another god apple, anyways, and a bunch of diamonds, and a block of iron. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, I. You guys at least, Soul, like, do you Sam grab that got one? the mace. Grab which one? Soul's gotten so many. Up uh... there, up that scaffolding. Ah. Does anybody want the steak? Also, I have potions for you, oh, Sam. I I've been steak. giving it to Soul. Okay. I got it. You won't believe this. What? I got another music disc. Oh my god! <laughs> no! I'm logging out. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'll share. Let's oh see my get. lord. It's gonna be another music disc. Music. It's gonna be three music discs. <laughs> you know, you literally called it. I got another music disc. Wait! And some emeralds. Are you actually I feel like, for I real? Feel like we need to make you go right here. first. <laughs> okay. So. We've done some terraforming. We've brought this valley up a little bit and connected it down into the valleys on either side. And what's probably going to happen is we're probably going to bring the pathway kind of around this way and then down through there. And we'll let it just peter out. It's not going to really go anywhere particular at the moment. Now, this is going to all be worked in the exact same uh, gradient as the front, obviously. Okay, so while we're waiting for those to smelt first... Uh, my maps are gone. <gasps> all of my maps are gone. Uh, uh, but while we were out trial chambering, um, we, found, we found this little guy. Also, I ended up with both, where are they? I ended up with both Guster and Flo, and since making banners has been kind of just my, like, super chill, get on late at night and do something fun activity, I'm really excited to see what designs people come up with. So, the quartz archway is in, and now we need to fill in the ice and all the gradients and the towers and all of those fun things. So, this is going to be basically a mirrored time-lapse of the original time-lapse of the front of the castle. So, hey, if you haven't seen that video where we started this whole mega base thing out, go check it out. So, let's roll our sleeves up and collect all our ice and resources and get going on a fun little time-lapse. In. Obviously, it's a little less fancy, and I haven't fully connected up that side yet. We've got fewer towers. They're not... It's it's not quite as big. And we're not going to put any glass in this one. But we've got plenty other 
spots to put glass into. Now, there's a lot of this part of the mountain that is going to need to be covered up. Um, and I'm still not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. But, I want to go ahead and turn my attention back towards the front of this castle. You can see down here, I have just done a stream where we added some of these boulders with copper bulbs in them. I'm going to need so much copper, guys. I'm in the wrong skin. I'll be right back. There we go. That's more like it. All right. We added a bunch of boulders out here, and we just kind of messed around with some of the different details that we could use around the terraforming and the exterior and the environment around it. We're not going to be doing those today. Those will just be things we'll add in things like streams and stuff like that. But what I want us to do and look at right now is I want us to start looking at how we're going to cover this area. I would like to have some access to this as an upstairs area where you can then access things like different towers and stuff like that. Because we'll continue having a few of these kinds of towers, maybe without the color on top. But right now, what I really want to go ahead and kind of experiment with and mess with a little is our actual ice spikes and obviously this is going to take many 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 copper bulbs now because this level of copper bulb is light level 12 we need to give a little bit of wiggle room before we can add ice nope 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 I swear. No, don't do this to me. It made an infinite water source. How dare. Okay. Okay. Turns out we need even more glass than I thought. So what I'm learning as I've been doing organic kinds of structures to the last, I don't know, little, little while, is that what you really need is you just need to slap down a bunch of blocks first. Like, that's the most important thing, is just getting so many blocks placed. And then once you've placed them, you can go back through and carve it up like a Thanksgiving turkey. And like, yeah, you want to pay attention to the general shape that you want things. Good news, nothing is melting so far. Now, as far as I know, there are two places to buy copper in this shopping district. One of them is the obelisk, which is where I have gotten it before. It's expensive. But over at the newest shop in town, copper, here we go. All right, two diamond blocks, a box for copper ingots. Iron, anybody? Oh, hey, 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 my costs were just, just covered. Nice. Oh, someone said they bought me out of gunpowder, I think. But yep, yep, all right. Oh, someone bought end rods. And a beacon, excellent. Ooh, first coral sail, nice, nice. Blocks of coal, good taste. Okay, nice. It's been a hot minute since I've had that much profit. All right, well, that was a nice little trip to the shopping district. A very satisfying one to have on video. Oh, right. Still need to get glass. Good gravy. Well, hello, my villagers. Ah, are we ready to do this? Now, for you all, this is going to take but a blink of a second. For me, it will be an eternity. An eternity stuck under the water with these fools. But, <laughs> I'm going to sit here and trade with them for a bit. And then, we're going to jump into a second time lapse. I know, lots of time lapses. There's a lot of building in this episode. It's going to be so worth it. 
let's hit it. Well, it is certainly not finished, but this has been a great start on the exterior of the castle. I was definitely maybe hoping to get it a little bit more finished before I got this video out, but I think that's a little bit of a pipe dream at this point. But I do really, really love it. Now, you did not get to see everything in the time lapse, so let's back out and take a quick look at how the whole thing's looking. Um, I like, I like the structure so far. I've definitely had to like tear down some stuff and rework some stuff. And I am not sure about this last ice spike there. The problem is that we kind of need to be able to cover up this tunnel area. I currently have sodium off so you can see a little bit better some of the work with glass and stuff that we've done. We have cool bridges around. We've at, we've started adding like glass to different domes and things like that which I think was a really good call shout out to Sam for that idea also when we started working on this I made a bunch of these spikes that were going outwards kind of away from the castle and I realized that structurally I think they look better if they are angled up inwards so we tore all of the ones down that I had worked on and turned them inwards instead at this point, I've got a bunch of towers and spires going up across the length of the Great Hall. And I'm not going to go beyond that at this point. I'm going to wait until we get the rest of the interior of this side worked out, and then we'll finish adding things from there. Now, there's a lot of just empty space down in here, and I have zero plans there. I, I really don't plan to do anything. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that this area does not look awkward and that the hallway here is not poking through. Also, you may notice in my inventory that I have diamond gear in there, diamond tools. Well, you see, there was an incident. I was doing trial chambers again with some friends and two of us died and our stuff completely disappeared um like the zombie that was wearing the full netherite set of my friend's armor and then killed me with her netherite sword just absolutely disappeared could not be found anywhere could not be found by the uh, server owner or anything like that so he he rolled back our inventories and gave us the important things again, but I forgot to mention my tools. So, the friend who was killed had a bunch of netherite backup gear, and like, it's not like I don't have a decent amount of netherite backup, like this isn't even all of it. Uh, not that I don't have that myself, but she brought me this gear, and it's got Great names. Great names. So we have to use this new gear, right? Don't worry, we will find something to give her back some other time. Anyways, we've got Dee's horns, which obviously we'll put the flow armor trim on. We've got Dee's corset, and I'm not sure what armor trim to put on this, actually. We've got Dee's jeggings, which I love. And we've got Dee's stompers. Now, I know what I want to do on the helmet and on the boots. 
I definitely want to go for the combo that we did in our single player world recently because it's just the best combo. Here's the thing though, I'm not sure what I want to put on the chest plate or the pants. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly across the nether roof here over to the 1.21 spawn area. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take a look, what the, excuse me? Anyways, we're gonna look at all the different armor trims and decide what we're gonna do. I'm kind of thinking about trying rib, at least on the chest plate, and doing it with diamond. Because I really love that rib has the darker, darker trim colors. So what I'm thinking is I definitely, definitely want white snout boots. 100%. Amethyst is really pretty and it would kind of round out the uh, dramatic herb herbalist color palette. And then, actually, I'm probably going to do Tide with Amethyst as well. Because I know I'm going to do Rib with Diamonds. I love how it's all of my colors, too. Anyways, now that we've got ourselves all kitted out, let's get actually started for real on this arch. We definitely need something different in the corners of these pillars, and I'm almost thinking that we should do something not contrasting, but a very similar color in some way. But I want a wall, which is going to immediately reduce our options. All right, let's take a little look at that. So it's not super visible from the outside anyways, but I think, I think the prismarine works well. Color-wise, yeah. yeah, those are some cool pillars. I can get behind this. All right, so now that we've done the pillars, we need to add the flying buttresses and the actual, I don't know, floor covering? I don't know what we're calling that. Ooh, I think I actually like that. I think that works. Yeah, that already helps. But now we just want to cover this area with some ice drippies, I think. All right, let's take a little look at how that is. I think that already just looks better. I really love the skulk behind ice effect. Like this is something that keeps happening as I build this castle and I adore it. It's just dark and mysterious and it's so good. Now, the last thing I think I wanna do here is I want to add just a little bit more pathing into some of these. Okay, this is a spike, so we're only going to be going, putting paths into the towers. We put sneaky, sneaky staircases there. Um, this tower definitely needs access, and then from there we can also have access to all of the bridgey towers. And there we go, we have access to a bunch of these towers, which is really, really cool. And I plan to put some farms in some of these and some cool details in others. So leave me suggestions down below. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want this area to look like. Give me your thoughts on what you think I should do with these towers. Now, I don't know about you, but I am curious how our iron sails have been since we stocked them up at the beginning of this episode, which was like a month ago. Don't tell anyone. Let's see. Ah. Okay. I think I may have checked this at one point and like, I might have sold one box of iron total. But honestly, that's such a vague and fuzzy memory. I may have just imagined it. All right. So here's the thing that's holding me back on finishing this exterior. It is my superb lack of ice. And so I'm thinking it may be time to attempt the ice farm again. Not the, not the design that I originally went with. It's complicated and finicky, but maybe a lower production, more like a 16,000 an hour ice farm. Something like that. Something that's a little bit more manageable. Something that is going to have a little bit more of a reliable design. So... I'm going to be stewing on that. Hope you'll stick around for the next one, and I'll see you there. Bye!